Good morning, I'm Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles and it's time for another weather lesson for today. Once again, I'm bringing it to you as we are going to talk about downbursts today. So when we're talking about downbursts, once again, we're dealing with thunderstorms and we do have that storm set up. So you do have that strong updraft. So this is the big thunderstorm right there. You do have that strong updraft. And what happens with the updraft? At some point, it's gonna get weak. Well, what makes that updraft weak? The colder air builds in the middle of the storm as you have heavy rain and you do have that hail. So that's what's gonna to start to weaken it. So where is everything gonna go from there, right? It's gotta go back down. So with that, you have that downburst. You have that strong surge of air from the storm. It hits the ground and it spreads out. So you hear people talk about, oh, I think a tornado came through. I think we had straight line winds. No, basically what you were dealing with was a straight line winds, a downburst, that strong surge of air from the storm and it spreads out. Now you've also heard the term maybe microburst. Well, what's a microburst? Well, that is when you have that, that downburst, but it's also going to be in the fact of it's less than two and a half miles, but you travel on a plane, right? Not good. Who do you think is going to win out when you're talking about a plane? Have you heard about turbulence before? Well, turbulence is basically, once again, when the downburst comes and it uh, hits the plane abruptly, and all that does is just um, make the altitude change. And the altitude is going to drop that plane down, and you can actually feel that in your stomach. It's not a good feeling at all. Once again, we do call that turbulence. As we talk about the microburst again, this is what we're looking at. Microburst versus a macroburst. A macro burst. The microburst is a little bit smaller, two and a half miles wide, so that's why it's called the, the microburst. But if you have a macroburst that's bigger, you are gonna be dealing with greater than two and a half miles. And once again, you do have that downburst of air and it spreads out over the area. And it is rough, it can cause a lot of damage. And that's why a lot of people think that, oh, we had a tornado. But no, we talked about tornadoes, tornadoes are much different than a microburst or a macroburst. Well, that's the lesson with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. We'll have another lesson tomorrow with Eric and Patrick, and I'll be back again on Monday. Have a great day, everyone. I hope you learned something. Bye.